If you're new to American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, you might feel under pressure to make quick decisions. One way that you can desensitize yourself from that pressure is to do an exercise I call Charleston Sprints. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here. We're going to use this stopwatch app. Or you could use a regular stopwatch. Whatever works. You want to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. I want to try to make decisions in under two minutes. If you're an intermediate player, try under three minutes. And if you're a beginner, try under four minutes and then push yourself to the other thresholds to improve your time when you're comfortable. We'll say we're the dealer, so I'm gonna get 14 random tiles and then create a mock Charleston. Okay, look at that. That's nice. Those jokers. Okay, one, six, I think maybe a year hand or, or maybe like numbers with ones or maybe even a quint. Let's discard one of each suit right here. Ooh, there's one, our first multiple. So we can maybe discard these three. Oh, white dragon. I'm thinking we should play a quint or like numbers. Let's hold that as an option. Let's see. We can pass these three. Flower. We don't need it. And we have another dragon here. Okay, we need to make a choice. 2018 with white dragons and the flower. 2018, let's see here, uh oh. Uh, let's give up the west one green. Let's focus on the year. Okay, no keepers here. Flower, let's pass these. White dragon, three to pass. Lap. Okay, we have three discards for the year hand. We can use these. This hand is set. For the third hand down under the year category, we just gathered year tiles and this is where we ended up. Four flowers, Kong here, Kong here, one eight. So potential, potential, potential. This hand is set. We can claim a discard for every one of these. Three discards, that was a really good result. I was so tempted though to play a quint, but this hand is set. That might even be a winner. On to sprint two. Pair of ones, north and south. We have a pair of flowers though. I'm thinking one, three, five, or like numbers with ones. Let's pass these three. There's a one. Like numbers with ones, I think, would be really good. Let's pass these three, one of each suit. Flower. Okay, now. Let's pass these three. 
Ooh, a one. Okay, now look at this. Three, six. We've got flowers, but look at all these ones. Like numbers with ones. Let's pass three, one, six. How about that one? Oh, I don't want to be left with a pair. Let's pass these. Oh, we got a one. We just gave it up. Maybe we'll get it back. Let's pass these three. No keepers. Let's pass these three. Oh, one of each suit. Even better. Oh my goodness. Wasting time. Okay, dragons. That might help. We have three tiles to pass. Lap. Okay, we have discards. But, like numbers with ones. Now, I was hoping to get that one crack back, but here, no, we can't use these because the dragons match. We need the red dragon, but we have six potential flowers and kongs of ones. I would hold this, even these, I would get rid of those first and just play like numbers with ones, maybe dragons. We could even use these as joker bait potentially, but most likely the like number hand with ones and six flowers would be probably what I would push here. And it might be a push. Let's do another sprint. One, three, five. One, three. Keep all the little odds. One, three, five. Maybe one, three, five, seven, nine in mixed suits. Hmm. One, three, five, seven, nine. One, three, five, seven, nine mixed suits. Let's pass these three. Give ourselves some options. There's a nine and a one. Let's give up the dragon. One, three, nine. One, three, five, seven, nine. I would not pass like numbers though. One of each suit would be good. If you get a joker, exchange it. A one, one, eight east. Let's pass these three. Okay, red. One, three, five, red. Let's keep those for options. Red. Okay, now. One, three, five, red concealed. Let's pass these three. No keepers. Let's pass these three. Okay, no keepers there, lap. So I would play the one, three, five concealed hand, use this as joker bait. Three discards plus joker bait. That could be a winner. That would be the concealed dragon hand under odds, little odds. Pung, 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 pung. So we've got work to do, but there's no gaps and joker bait. Let's see how things went with the time though. I think I'd like every one of my sprints to be under two minutes. I need to practice some more. 
I think making quick decisions is a really good technique. No. Three, two, one. Not, uh, three, two, one. Making quick decisions is really good if you play in tournaments. But it's also really good if you just play in a regular game. Have you ever played in a game and someone says, hurry up? Don't let that happen to you. Practice at home, make quick decisions, desensitize yourself. Learn that if you make quick decisions and you make a mistake, you can recover during the pick and discard phase of the game. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Sprints for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.